Bodybuilding has become one of the most popular activities in the sports world, but with the amount of pressure to do well, to win competitions, and to look good, there are dire risks involved. Here are 10 disturbing bodybuilder deaths. Andre Gaidos. Andre Gaidos was just 19 years old, stood over 7 feet tall, and weighed over 280 pounds when he died in September of 2015. At the time of his death, his heart was nearly double the size it should have been, which was caused by the four different types of drugs he was taking at the time. He collapsed in a supermarket and died from his heart exploding, literally. Gaidos had hoped that he would become the next Dwayne Johnson. Dean Warmby in December of 2015, Dean Warmby was just 39 years old when he met his end after a battle with liver cancer that lasted five and a half years, though the coroner confirmed that the steroid use was a direct cause of his death. However, the bodybuilder was also eating about 10,000 calories a day, eating junk food, he drank seven or eight cans of energy drinks a day, and abused steroids. Needless to say, he put his body through the ringer. By looking at photos of Warmby before his death, his story serves a grim reminder of steroid abuse. Chad Brothers. Chad Brothers' death had a lot of drama right up until his heart stopped beating. After he fell off an elliptical machine, Brothers went into a psychotic rage where he was growling, grunting, and screaming while tearing apart gym equipment, including knocking over a 700-pound weight machine and destroying an office. He then raised a person's treadmill to the maximum speed and punched them. Brothers was dealing with a rage caused by a mixture of steroids and PCP. When police arrived, they couldn't calm Brothers down and ended up using a taser on him. This caused Brothers to stop breathing and despite CPR being used, the 32-year-old bodybuilder was dead. Ali Cooney Ali Cooney was the prime example of a person who was determined to continue his bodybuilding training despite having three strokes and two heart attacks. He started his training early in his teens, and by the age of 18, he was warned by doctors to stop his workout regime. He was diagnosed with chronic heart damage and chest pains, which weren't getting any better thanks to Cooney's steroid use. Even after he suffered from his third stroke, Cooney started working out again three to four times a week. By the time he was 20, he was dead after a night of partying and collapsing in a taxi. Greg Plitt. Greg Plitt was a nationally known bodybuilder who won numerous awards and titles and was featured on several magazines and websites for his exemplary physique. He was so successful that he was often asked to do endorsements for products as well as to earn sponsorships from different brands. This ultimately led to his demise as he was killed after being run over by a Metrolink Antelope Valley Line train in Burbank, California. Plitt was trying to show the effects of an energy drink by outrunning a train, but needless to say, the 37-year-old bodybuilder was unsuccessful. Z's. Aziz Shavershian, better known as Z's, became a YouTube sensation when he uploaded his bodybuilding videos and achieved his dream body in just over four years. He wanted to be a bodybuilder at a young age and started his training early. It was also speculated that Z's was using steroids, but it was never confirmed. However, just as he was reaching his peak of fame, Z's died of a heart attack at a young age of 22 in a sauna in Bangkok. Anthony Derezzo. Anthony Derezzo is the prime example of what happens when you ignore your doctor's orders. He won the title of Mr. Rhode Island in 1988 and could bench 535 pounds. Derezzo suffered from a congenital heart condition called cardiopyopathy in 2002, and the doctors warned him that if he didn't come back on training in the steroid use, he would die. Derezzo took a short break and then started training again and using steroids and other growth hormones. During a competition in Pittsburgh in 2006, Derezzo was practicing his poses in a hotel room when he died of a heart attack the day before the show. Sean Clothero 28-year-old Sean Clothero died in October of 2012 after he took a drug called dinitrothanol, otherwise known as DNP, which is also the main ingredient in Weed Killer. The bodybuilder was taking the drug as a fat burner, which he bought from two men at his gym. He drank the substance in the locker room before heading to a workout. His temperature raised to over 107.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and then he suffered a heart attack in the hospital. Jim Henderson Jim Henderson was a 54-year-old bodybuilder who suffered a heart attack just hours after he competed in the World Championships in June of 2015. He had enjoyed a long career of bodybuilding but was missing his time with his wife and teenage kids. He promised his family that the World Championships in Malta would be his last show before finally retiring. Andreas Munzer Andreas Munzer was known for training himself year-round and had one of the lowest percentages of body fat in bodybuilding history. However, Munzer was also abusing diuretics and muscle-building drugs along with following a low-carb diet. Munzer was eventually admitted into the hospital for severe stomach pain and ended up dying while on the operating table. His autopsy results showed numerous tumors in his liver, his heart was twice the size of a person's heart, and his testicles were shrunken. 
hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Please remember to take care of yourselves, okay? But while you're here, here's a couple other videos we think you might enjoy, and please don't forget to click like and subscribe.